Welcome, the topic of this tutorial is Nemesis. Nemesis is just a name for a bunch of scripts. So what I'll do after any installation of Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, Arch Linux B and Arch Linux is get my code, get my Nemesis scripts. And what is this? I will get this information from my website, github.com, Eric Dubois, Arch Linux Nemesis. It's a bunch of scripts and it's going to install me Discord. It's not on the ISO, not on any ISO. Screen fetch, Dropbox, InSync, Numix folders, a cursor, some music, extra icons, Spotify and VirtualBox. It will install fonts for Conkeys. If it's not available, it will install it and otherwise I'll skip it. Hard code fixer for the icons, Intel microcode. Sometimes they'll have doubles in the sense that it applies sometimes to all Arch installations, sometimes to Arch Linux it will install, it will be installed on Arch Linux D, sometimes it's not on Arch Linux, but the way the scripts are built, it just skips it if it's installed, so it's okay. So stuff that is personal that I have to install every time again, and it's quite, I do quite a few installations on a month's base, even on a week's basis, it's a, a lot of installations. And I want to have a, well, to not have a tedious work and I'll run my scripts and everything will be there. That's how I proceed. Change the scripts to your liking and later on we'll see this video here. So what do we need to do? We have, we could have any uh, element, any desktop, I mean, Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, Arch Linux B, it could be anything really, but I was making tutorials about Arch Linux D Cinnamon. And that's why we are now seeing this on this machine. It does not matter. It does not matter. So to get the scripts, that's the first job, get the scripts. We have this button here, right mouse click, open terminal, and you git clone scripts from github.com, Eric Dubois, and then Arco Linux, your nemesis. That's it. All the scripts are in your machine. And like always, use the numbers. So from small to big, you run everything. Maybe you see some elements, you say, oh, I've done that, I've, I ran that already. Well, you can skip it if you have already done that. And that's sometimes the case, but not always. So that's why it's always in there. We've done this in Arch Linux D, for instance. Uh, we did not do this in Arch Linux. So it all depends on what system you are. But what this does is check what, how many cores has, does this machine have? So if you press enter, it says, hey, you have four cores, that's correct. I have actually eight cores, four for the, uh, the host and four for virtual box, the guest. So that's correct. And when you do this, you run this thing, you will have less time to build and to compile and to compress all these AUR packages. You will be a, have a faster computer, basically. So run that. Then 100 is uh, the core software. Just click it open. You'll see it's screen fetch and discord. So at this point in time, I've made an update of the article and it's exact, uh, exactly correct, of course, today. It's this one and discord screen fetch, but well, it's a constant on the move. I mean, it's, it's uh, a nemesis scripts are always updated every month since we release every month an ISO, I'll re uh, have a look at it, at have a look at it again every month and update it. So that's okay. That was number hundred which has started. There is two hundred, and that's gonna be a, a bit bigger. You see, some of the things have been installed already due to the Arch Linux D script, but um, depending on what system you are you will have to install everything. So the new mix folders have been installed. I made a uh, tip or a tutorial about that on arclinux.com. 
and I've changed something else here, WhatsApp. I've added this to my uh, list of applications, so you know the WhatsApp application, and I am investigating if this is actually a good application or not, so might be that in a few weeks time it's out again. So it's always in the move, it's, it's learning, um, is, is Tryzen good, is Ye good, is, is our man good, is Packly good. I mean, it's always exploring and this is rather a personal um, GitHub, but you can copy paste anything in here, edit anything and delete anything and then say, okay, this bunch of scripts is going to be my installation. So that's always our intention. We don't want to push anything to you. We want uh, to give you all this, this uh, work already and then you change 20%, 30% of the scripts and be done with it. Okay, I was just saying, let's pause here because this is taking always a little bit longer. Uh, I see this WhatsApp thing. So let's pause. All right, that's installed. So number 400 is for the people who see this error message when you boot up Arch Linux or Arch Linux, you see this um, message about the microcode error. So that's an actually an easy fix. So if you see this message, then you can run um, this little script. So that's one thing. That's the uh, elements that's well are, are might be interesting for you as well. But here it gets even more personal. So if we close this up, personal folder, click here, move it over there. Then this one is even more personal. So each time I do a reinstallation of any Arch Linux, then I want to have the same structure. In this case, it's going to create folders. You just open it up and you'll see what folders it's gonna be. It's fonts, it's dot icons, it's dot themes, it's that. So that's done. Then the 200 is going to overwrite the thing we've installed in Arch Linux D. So these are the bookmarks that are coming from Arch Linux D. And I'm going to overwrite it with my own. These are the things that I use all the time. The only thing is missing is Dropbox here, but Dropbox needs to be installed still. So it's better not to create a folder, uh, better let the program do that. So Openbox is not here, that's why this little mark and i3 is not here, but um, on Arco Linux, yes, of course, they are. So these are the bookmarks I use all the time. Go to the, the GitHubs from Arch Linux, the GitHubs from Arch Linux D, the GitHubs from Arch Linux B. I always work in these folders. So that's easy for me to get everything going again. So similar approach you can do. Use the scripts. 300 is um, telling GNOME screenshots not to take a PNG of two megabyte but to take a picture and save it as GPG, which is going to be 200 kilobyte to have a faster website and maybe lesser in image, but much smaller in KB or in megabytes and um, a faster website. That's, that's the goal, of course. So we've done already the Firefox for dark theme setting. We've done that and Firefox has been, uh, we ran first Firefox and then you can run this one. So we did that, that's okay. And then I should say experiment if you see something happening with a simple screen recorder or your sublime text. And if you don't use these programs, yeah, don't run them. But um, some of these, sometimes these applications are not the way I want them. And I overwrite them with the Sarti icons, actually. Basically, you just check out what it does. But at this point in time, everything will look the same. All, also these two. And then the most important one for us all, because our clinic is learn and uh, enjoy and have fun. So yeah, we should uh, run 700 because that's a lot of fun. You'll see, well, I'll show you, I'll show you. We have here a nice little banner up here. Fun scripts, fun script, sorry. Did you know, do you know our fun script? So this is what you can do and um, it's not that difficult. 
it's just knowing some applications. These things are coming from the Arch repo and these guys are coming from the AUR. And how does it look? Well, this is the Aquarium, yeah? ASCII, Aquarium, C Matrix. Well, I'll let you read and I'll scroll on. Lolcat, you should zoom in a little bit so you see the colors. Midnight Commander, it was there 30 years ago. It's still there. So lots of stuff. You just check it out and have fun. So that's installed already. Last thing is something that will break your virtual box. It's uh, to be installed on uh, SSD or hard disk only. And only if you have an Intel graphical card. So it's a nice little script that's in your settings, in your Intel. This one is going to go to the Xorg, etc, x11, xorg, and so on. Um, so only run it when you are on a SSD or hard disk and have a graphical um, Intel card. If you do by mistake run it, I've just uh, I've explained here how to delete it as well. So that's okay. And this thing I'll only run when I am on QDE or Plasma. And that's at this point in time installs just a new mix team, but in the future probably will contain more. So that's that's that. That's the Arch Linux Nemesis. That's what I'll install on any Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, Arch Linux B, and Arch Linux. All right, enjoy.